the infamous Kent State shooting, May 4th, 1970. It's now May 4th, 2024. Jerry Casale says this, They did it without an act of Congress, without passing any new law, or having any meetings. It was completely unconstitutional, so we're out there at noon. About 3,500 students at Kent State were out there. The governor, who certainly was a pro-war kind of guy, Governor Rhodes, he had placed the National Guard inside the heating plant of the school the night before anticipating what would happen when the students found out about Cambodia. Not only did he do that, but he waited until about 9 a.m. on May 4th to declare martial law, which suspends all First Amendment rights of the Constitution, meaning that any assembly is automatically illegal, you're automatically committing a crime. Oh my God. These National Guardsmen poured out of the heating plant, surrounded the protesters, and with a bullhorn announced that martial law had been declared and that we were all going to jail. Everybody starts chanting and screaming, and they start shooting tear gas. They start shooting tear gas, the guardsmen. Some of the more ballsy protesters, while they're coughing and choking and puking, are trying to throw it back. Mercy on us. But most of the kids were anywhere from 50 to 100 yards away from these lines of National Guardsmen with guns. Nobody believed that the guns were actually loaded with live ammo. Yeah, you're, you're in shock, kind of. I just wanted to read that. I think that was an interview with Jerry Casale. Peace.